So Tony, we know the power of LinkedIn is very important. That's how we got connected and that's how we are here. But how can students strategically utilize LinkedIn to build professional networking, explore career opportunities, and showcase their academic achievement and their extracurricular experiences to potential employers? Because we know that once a resume is read and they like the resume, they will check on LinkedIn. So what can they do on LinkedIn? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. A wonderful question. And and yes, it's a great resource and how you know we've met and how I've met all sorts of people. Yeah. Um, but I'll take a step back and I'll admit that I am not the greatest user of LinkedIn. I think there's people out there, probably yourself and others, who are much better and have uh, more specific advice than I do. But but I, I have I'll say there's three areas I get people to think about. I'll say, you know, when you're considering, you know, using LinkedIn, um, thing I like to say is be curious. Yes. Be brave and be proud. And I'll talk a little bit more about that. Mm -hmm. What I mean by be curious is regularly just check out profiles from individuals who are in sectors or in doing roles that you're interested in, right? Like there's yes. no harm in that. That's why LinkedIn exists. That's why people have put this stuff out there. Yes. So play around. You know, if you've heard of some organizations, uh, check out some people and then play around there. Hey, where have they been before this? Yes. You know, and you may discover or hear about organizations we've never heard of. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things we talk about here, you know, on the West Coast, and I imagine it, there might, there's similarities across the country, is that most people don't end up working in areas that they thought they were going to do. Yeah. Uh, so you end up doing something different from what you thought for an organization you'd never heard of. Yeah. Um, because of the how many small and medium enterprises there are. So again, LinkedIn is a great way to start getting some of that exposure again, by mm -hmm. finding some people, whatever it is that triggers you and just, you know, little rabbit hole. Oh, okay. Where else were they? Oh, that's an interesting organization. Yeah. Who else is there? And just play like that as a way to sort of expand your knowledge of what's out there. And again, and being curious is such an important part of the uh, exploration mm -hmm. process. The other part is, is this notion of be brave. Don't be scared to reach out to people. That's why most of us are on LinkedIn. We expect yeah. to be uh, reached out to and be of support to people. Um, so, um, yeah. So so reach out. Again, as you mentioned earlier, that's how you and I and initially became connected. And I just think of all these people I've become connected with over time, both locally and nationally and internationally, just from a simple message. Yeah. Um, and, and I usually say is, you know, and where possible, don't just use the default, I want to connect. Yes. Uh, make a little comment. You yes. know, what is it about that person? What is it that you've, you know, about them that, that you are interested in? Is it something you've read outside? Is it something that you noticed on mm -hmm. their LinkedIn profile? One or two sentences just helps make that connection. And I know as myself, when I get requests, I respond much more positively uh, to people who've gone through that extra effort. Yes. Um, so I think... Um, yeah. Oh, so add that note. Yes. Yeah. The other thing I like to say, because I know, again, particularly when dealing with students, is that they're really hesitant to reach out to people, uh, both for the connection and then, hey, once you have the connection, maybe there's an opportunity to follow up for some sort of conversation. Oh, sure. Yeah. And, and and use one of the tips I remember is, you know, use how quickly people accept your um, your request as a gauge to how keen or open they are to connecting. Yeah. People who tend to respond fast are more likely to be the ones who are going to be open to a follow-up conversation. Mm -hmm. So again, not, it's not a pure, but I use it as a guide. And and again, make those requests. Because again, the, the LinkedIn connection is something, but what you really want yeah, customize. Is, is yeah, is a more is a connection is an actual something resembling a relationship, and that actually re re revolves a little bit of back and forth and interaction. So you know, be brave. Feel free to reach out. Worst case scenario, they don't respond. And my experience is, and again, I haven't studied this or I haven't done an official experiments. Is that, but you know, every time someone has you know not responded to a LinkedIn request, the Earth continues to revolve around the yes. sun. That, that has been my personal go next, experience. Go to the next person. Yes. That's not the end of the world. Yeah. And then the last thing is be proud, right? You know, we've all we've all done stuff. And, you know, use LinkedIn as like a live resume of, you know, the, the, your repository of things yes. that you've done. Anytime you do something cool that you're proud of, put it in there, right? Yes. Um, and it's just, it's, it's just, you know, it's kind of a, it's useful for others to see. And it's also, it's good, I think, for us as individuals to be reminded of the things that we have done. Yeah.
So I, I was having conversation today with uh, with some students. I was about the LinkedIn workshop that I was doing. I told them identify 10 to 20 companies that you want to work. Follow yeah. them. Engage with their content. Find a recent hire because that person was in your shoe before and he will help you or give you direction or ask for an information uh, session and they will give you. And it's all about 10. And as you mentioned, sending connection requests is important, but customizing it is very much better. Or even I tell the students, go to their account, comment on their recent uh, post they did, and then the person will get a notification and then send a request saying, hey, by the way, Tony, I saw that you posted something like this, very much interested to know more about this or ask uh, questions. And again, that way, that will be a relationship. And as you mentioned, also some people will not accept. I told them, put a reminder on your calendar. After four days, they didn't re request, find another person. And if they accepted it, automatically send them Thank you, Tony, for extending my request. Do you have five minutes for a coffee chat or or I have a question? Do you have time? Yeah, no, it's 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 a wonderful way of doing things. And you know, and and where you can find people where you have some intersection points of interest, mm -hmm. points of background. This is where yeah. again for people from institutions, if you you know, connect with people who are alumni from your institution, yeah, to be a strong uh if you had work experience in similar areas, if you come from similar cultural communities, you know, various things that, you know, yeah. find those things that help make those connections, yeah. uh, again, I think helps those initial conversations. It's also increases the likelihood yeah. of people engaging. And I feel that, as you mentioned, alumni or uh, university alumni is very important because you've been in the similar university and then that's a kind of an icebreaker. Hey, Tony, you went to UBC, I went to UBC, I have a question for you, or even joining groups because a lot of students don't know that there's a lot of groups and if you are in those similar industries, it's easier to have those conversations. Yeah, yeah. One of the things about, yeah, yeah, I, I actually really quite like the groups. I remember early in my professional career, I joined some groups and contributed, mm -hmm. and it was actually really significant uh, in some of the opportunities and connections that I made later on. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you never know. Yeah. So yeah, participate, and, engage. Yeah. You know, it's that whole thing. Just keep doing things yeah. and use the tools at your disposal. Those are totally great tips, Tony. Thank you very much. And for the audience, if you have any more tips in terms of how to use LinkedIn, please leave them below. And tune in next time for another great question with Tony. Mm -hmm.